Hello. I have waited all day to see you. I am Nana. And we're here today to celebrate St. Patrick's Day traditions. And of course, what's more traditional than a wonderful clover? We're going to do three leaf clovers, but you can add that extra leaf for good luck. This is an easy but beautiful lesson, and I hope you'll enjoy it. So, let's get started. <clears throat> now, I have some black construction paper. The reason being is that the greens are just going to pop right out on this black paper, and you'll just be able to see them so well. And I have a selection of greens here, all kinds of colors, and I have some whites and even a little black, if you like. Now, let's don't stray from these colors. These are traditional shamrock colors. So let's stay in this family of greens and the whites and such. Um, before we get started, I do want to ask you to please let us know where you're calling from and what you think about today. What's the weather like at your house? Tell us what's going on. We love to hear from you. And when you finish with your beautiful, beautiful pastel painting, I want you to take a photo of it and send it in to us so we can do happy dance or just ooh and ah over it. Let's get started. Now I'm going to start with, let's see, this is kind of a medium light green. Now I want to tell you a secret about drawing uh, your, past, your pastel uh, shamrock first. Now this is the first leaf. And it's going to be a pretty big one. What does that look like? What does this look like? A heart. It does. Shamrock leaves are shaped like hearts, which is absolutely wonderful. And they're connected here in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and put the middle in so I won't forget that's where they're connected and go and put the leaf way off over here and forget. All right, now if you can't draw a sideways leaf, you can turn your paper. I turn my paper like this and see, you can draw a perfect heart. You can even point it if you like. This shamrock is going to be up close right up close to the viewer. All right, now I'm turning the paper back around and I'm going to put another leaf out here. And there we go. Let's get in some others before we start filling them in. But if you want to, you can go ahead and fill your, your shamrocks in. There's one leaf. Now this one goes off of the paper, as you can see. He's over here being shy. And then we're going to put another one up here. Just maybe a little bit of a shamrock. Oh my goodness, this one really is going off the page. And then underneath, we're going to do some smaller ones. Here's one. And we're going to do another. The 
this is very calming. You don't have to hurry with this. You just have to think about shamrocks growing in a beautiful woodland or in a pasture or in a flower bed that has maybe some pine straw in it. And if they're almost covered up, now look, see, it ran into this big one and it's going to up here too. I'm gonna put one more in and then we're going to go on and color. And we're gonna fancy these little shamrocks up because we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And you know that these leaves, St. Patrick wanted you to remember, uh, reminded him of the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and, and the Holy Ghost. So that's the Trinity. Now, I think we have enough to get started. You can add some more in all over, just make it just as chock full of shamrocks as you like. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this lighter green and I'm putting it down like that on my paper. Okay, then I'm going to make it whoosh. You can hear that wonderful sound of the pastel. It's just whooshing on the paper. It's one of my most favorite sounds. Now, I got a little bit out of the line right there. We don't count that as a mistake. There are no mistakes when you paint with pastels. You can fix most anything. And if you get outside the line, look, it really makes it sort of dreamy and, and slow like a cloud feeling. And it gives it what we call a painterly effect. Now I'm gonna keep on talking, but I'm moving a little bit quicker because I'm talking a lot. Okay, we'll get this one up here. Now, if you don't like the look of this, you can take your wonderful painter finger, which is just like having a paintbrush and you can fill these in all the way to the edge all the way to the edge See up here. and you know I'm gonna leave the rest of these just the way they are I like them that way and then while we're painting with green, I wanted to remind everybody to join us next week for a special Green Ember art lesson right here on the Facebook page. Yes, that is very exciting news. Now, we're going to put what we call veins on here, on the wonderful shamrocks. And... All this makes you really think about is the heart shape. Look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can take your painter finger and you can smooth it out so it's not quite so right there in your face. All right. Or you can leave it nice and bold. Whatever you like. You are the artist of this painting. I'm just the leader. You hear all that whooshing going on? Somebody's being busy with their pastels. Nana, this is a companion lesson to our spring 
video art lessons with lots of wonderful spring topics. That's right, it's getting to be spring here in our, our neck of the woods. Now, got one more. Let's get some beautiful veins up here. They'll look kind of like tigers, don't they? All right, I'm going to smooth them out just a tiny bit. And you see, I didn't put any right there. You don't have to just follow the rules every time. Like I always tell you, whose painting is this? It's not Nana's, it's yours. All right, now, let's say last night they had a little bit of rain. Can you take your white pastel and draw a tiny circle? Maybe here on the edge, a half circle. Oh, look, it's a raindrop. It is. It's a wonderful raindrop. Now, I just have a request. Don't make your shamrocks look like they have chicken pox. Now, that's not artistic. No, it isn't. Just a few. Because when rain falls down, it's going to roll right off a lot of these leaves and go right to the ground. All right. Now I'm going to hurry up just a tiny bit. I like these that are on the edge. And Get some more on here. It really rained hard up here on the top. There. Now, well, these shamrocks, some of them are underneath, so they have to be a little bit darker because they're under these other ones. And if you like, you can make them just be in the shade, just a little, little bit. Mainly get around the edges where it's bright green. It's up to you. I'm just giving you suggestions. And they have to have some stems so, I'm going to take a brown, and I'm going to have a stem here, and one going this way. Not such long ones down here. And that one is going this way off the paper, so we don't see his stem in that one. We'll bring that one down, okay? Now... If you like, you can really dress this up. We've got raindrops. Well, we could have the sun shining on it. How about that? This is just going to be so different from anything you've done with your shamrocks. These, this is the sun sparkling on the edge Oh my goodness, I think this is one you make like X's. Nana, this time last year we shared some St. Patrick's Day art on the Unit Studies by Amanda Bennett page. And I wanted to let all the artists know that we'll share a link to that here in the comments because you might want to do even more St. Patrick's Day art and there are three lessons in that video. Ooh, what fun. All right, now. If you really want to make this your very own painting, you don't have to do this, but you can make some squiggles. 
curlies, little curly cues. I don't know if they really have these under the shamrocks or not, but I just think that they're just so pretty and they just add so much and fill in. Oh, so pretty. Look at this. Wow. Let's do one out this way and really circle it around. And we're circling around here. And that's a wonderful shamrock picture. If you like, you can take your light green and you can make some sun on your stem. And, oop, there's a stem right there. Oh, I got that. And even on your curly cues. I went kind of fast today, but you know, you can go back and watch this lesson over and over again. And while I'm doing my curly cues, I would like to speak to you for just a minute. These are wonderful, wonderful exercises to help you to become a better artist. Now, when you sit down and you think about what Nana has drawn, sometimes you might say, well, I just can't paint like that. You know what? It is true. You can't paint like this. You are different. You, everyone, has a different way to express their art. And that's what we're here for, is to encourage you. And to say, nobody, nobody can paint exactly like someone else. Now, this is what I want you to do today, though. This is an exercise. I want you to encourage. Now, if you paint with your pastel sitting next to another student, you might be going, oh, let's look over there and see what Gracie is doing. Or let's look over here and see what Chuck is doing over here on this side. Well, his shamrocks are not hearts, they're more circles and aren't they pretty? I'm going to do that. And that's all fine and dandy if you get ideas. But you can't paint like Grace over here or Chuck over here. You paint like Nana or my real name, which is Lucia. Lucia painted this. Nana gave it to you as a teacher. You can be an encourager, and that's what I want you to do today, is to encourage. You say, if you're looking at, at Gracie's picture, and she has mountains that look like blueberry ice cream cones, and you go, oh, in your mind, you say, oh, I really like the purple you've used there. That's all you have to do. Say something nice and encourage. And the world will be a much better place. And you'll have the look of the Irish. And you know what happens when you encourage and you paint. You all are artists. Thank you for joining us for our weekly art lesson. You are invited every Wednesday right here at noon to the ChalkPastel.com page. And you're welcome to browse the videos right here on the page and find more art that you would enjoy. And we invite you to come back next week for our Green Ember Art Lesson. Thank you for joining us. You are an artist.